to develop uh, these um, these uh, flight control systems to do multiple different things, whether it is uh, doing terrain modeling or terrain following, where you tell the drone to fly a particular mountain path and stay 50 feet above the ground because you want to look for certain species of plants or uh, biological mass or whether it's a certain species of uh, fruit or whether you're doing uh, assessment on animals. Um, they're, they're, it's a really excellent platform to develop on um, and we can leverage the cloud-based uh, community uh, for that. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the um, flight control systems also have the ability to not only work on an RF signal, um, which has uh, regulatory uh, issues in terms of how much watts we can use to talk to the actual craft, with it, which affects the range, but we can utilize infrastructure that already exists, and that is basically your cell phone towers. Uh, all, both of these uh, flight control systems do work on UDP or TCP IP. Basically, it's internet talk. So we can connect these things up to the internet, and all of the telemetry data, all of the GPS data, and also all of the imagery data or additional sensors, whether it's air quality sensors, uh, flare cameras, all of that data can be pushed in over the internet, whether it's a public internet or even a private internet, um, to a cloud-based service for uh, data acquisition. So it is an excellent platform that is cost-effective, affordable, assembled and built right here in Geneva. Thank you.